Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Pradeep Sindhu. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Fungible. I want to tell you about Fungible, uh, the company that Bertrand Serle, my co-founder and I, founded in 2015 to revolutionize the agility, security, performance, reliability, and economics of all scale-out data centers. Now, the foundational technology that the company has invented is the fungible data processing unit, or DPU, but we are not a silicon-only company. We have launched a storage product called the Fungible Storage Cluster in last October, and most recently, we have launched Fungible Data Centers, which is a revolutionary new concept that gets us closer to achieving uh, the vision that we had when we started off data centers. So Bertrand and I coined the term DPU back in 2015. So the fungible DPU addresses two efficiencies that we observed in scale out data centers. And these two efficiencies can be traced to two root causes. Number one is that the interchange of data between servers on standard IP Ether networks is highly inefficient today. And it stands in the way of disaggregating resources. The second inefficiency that we observed was that general purpose CPUs cannot execute efficiently an important class of computations that we call data centric. Now examples of these computations are the data path of networking, the data path of storage, the data path of security, as well as the data path for virtualization. Now, over time, this problem uh, of general purpose CPUs not executing these data centric computations efficiently has gotten a lot worse because the proportion of data centric computations as a fraction of all computations in the data center has gone up with time as people start to use scale out pervasively. Now data centers also faced with additional problems having to do with the reliability, the flexibility and the security of data centers. And all of these issues result in unnecessary bloated costs of OPEX as well as CAPEX of data centers. Fungible started from first principles and a clean sheet of paper to create a new category of programmable microprocessor that we call the fungible DPU. This DPU was purpose built to address the inefficiencies and challenges that we saw inside scale out data centers. So one question that we get asked all the time is where does the DPU fit in inside the data center? Where does it sit? The fungible DPU acts as the data path hub inside every server node. And it is the connection to the data center network. So one side of the DPU connects to a standard IP ethernet network. The other side of the DPU has PCI Express, which connects to uh, a, an x86 host or a GPU or storage. In this position, the DPU eliminates the two most important inefficiencies that we mentioned earlier. Also in this position, it enables significantly improved reliability, much better security, full virtualization and composability without adding additional cost. It is important for us to say that while the fungible DPU can interoperate with nodes that do not have have a fungible DPU embedded inside, the maximum benefit can be obtained only when every server has a fungible DPU embedded inside. So next I wanna talk about the two main innovations that we have done at Fungible. So the first innovation is a programmable data path that executes data path computations at high speeds while providing flexibility, which is comparable to the flexibility provided by general purpose CPUs. In other words, we enable people to write programs in C. 
rather than using microcode or programming FPGAs. The second major innovation inside the fungible DPU is a new network engine that implements the endpoint of a high performance true fabric. And this true fabric runs on top of standard IP ethernet and it provides deterministic low latency, full cross-sectional bandwidth, congestion and error control, and very high levels of security across a very wide range of deployment scales, all the way from a few tens of nodes to close to a million nodes. The True Fabric protocol is fully standards compliant and interoperable with TCP IP over ethernet. What this interoperability ensures is that the data center leaf spine network can be built using completely standard off the shelf ethernet switches. True Fabric solves the problem of high performance interactive data exchange between nodes and it is the single thing that enables what we call hyper disaggregation, which is the disaggregation of most expensive resources inside the data center. And it enables pooling of these resources to be used across the entire data center. So next I wanna summarize the architecture of the F1 DPU. The F1 DPU consists of eight data clusters, a control cluster, some memory and IO interfaces, and a very fast on-chip fabric. The data clusters do the actual work of the data path, they have 192 general purpose CPU threads, and these threads are fully cache coherent. They're also very tightly integrated with a carefully chosen set of accelerators, which themselves are heavily multi-threaded. The control cluster inside the F1 is designed to run standard Linux. It has eight processor threads, and it also contains a secure complex, uh, which can be used as the root of trust for any server that contains a DPU. The IO interfaces on one side implement a PCI Express, and on the other side, connect to a standard ethernet network. We have two types of external memory, a high capacity memory, which is implemented using DDR4, and a high bandwidth memory, which is implemented using HBM. One of the key innovations in the fungible DPU is a new model for programming data paths. We call this model dynamic data flow graphs. The nodes in this graph can be either general purpose CPU threads shown as circles or nodes that are accelerator threads, which are shown as colored squares. The links that connect one node to another node are implemented in hardware by first class continuations. And continuations, as you will remember, are generalizations of the notion of a procedure call. The collection of links in a data flow graph can be thought of as an on-chip virtualized call continue fabric implemented in hardware. In our view, continuations are the right primitive, the right abstraction to implement data path computations because they allow a programmer to focus on the essence of the computation without having to worry about low level details like flow control, synchronization, locking, uh, et cetera, while at the same time achieving very, very high levels in fact, unprecedented levels of performance for data path code. This model, we believe, is the key to providing the right combination of very high speeds with full flexibility of programming in C. Measurements that we've made across multiple domains show that our model is capable of providing 20 to 30 times the performance of other general purpose programmable engines available today. Let's turn to the Fungible DPU software next. Uh, the Fungible DPU comes with a complete software stack. Within the DPU, the bottom layer is the FunOS Nucleus. The Nucleus provides basic functions like timers and memory management. Above FunOS, we've implemented four separate data path stacks, 
these are stacks for the network data path, the storage data path, the virtualization data path, and security data path. We also intend to implement an analytic stack and possibly other stacks in the future. The embedded control plane in the DPU runs standard Linux on top of a thin hypervisor layer to protect the data path from malfunctions in the control plane. The control plane logic itself consists of agents that run on top of Linux. When the DPU is connected to a standard x86 host, we provide a DPU driver for the host, but do not otherwise require any modifications to the kernel or to applications running on the x86. In some cases, we may also provide agent software that runs on the x86 host. Finally, there is the fungible composer, which provides centralized orchestration, management, telemetry, and control for DPU powered servers. The composer runs on standard x86 servers and is critical in helping us manage large deployments quickly and efficiently. As its name implies, a key function of the composer is to enable dynamic composition of DPU powered servers into bare metal virtualized data centers. To summarize, the DPU complements rather than competes with the functions provided by CPUs and GPUs. Together, these three building blocks will carry data centers into the future. This is why we refer to the fungible DPU as a third socket. We announced the F1 and S1 DPUs last year. The F1 DPU is an 800 gig device designed for storage targets, AI or analytic servers, and security appliances. The S1 DPU is a 200 gig device designed to go on standard PCI Express cards. It can support functions such as bare metal virtualization, storage client, node security, network function virtualization, and many other applications better than any other silicon available today. Both DPUs share a common architecture and programming model. In developing the first two DPUs, we relied primarily on architectural innovation to achieve a combination of high performance and flexibility. This meant in turn that we did not need to use the most advanced lithography to achieve world-class performance and power. So a logical next step is for us to implement the two DPUs in the latest process to improve the performance of each of them by over a factor of two and to reduce their power by close to 40%. The fungible data processing unit enables us to efficiently hyper disaggregate, compute and storage resources to provide performance and cost efficiencies not even achieved by hyperscalers. With the fungible data center composer, we are now able to assemble these hyper disaggregated resources to deliver right sized infrastructure tailored to specific applications on demand and in minutes. If the fungible DPU is the heart of a fungible data center, then the fungible composer is its brain. Thank you all for your time today. We look forward in engaging with you as we roll out this awesome portfolio of products.